Hey guys, it's your girl Fuzz and welcome back to another Saji Riley video. Are you having trouble trying to find all 130 golden walnuts on Ginger Island? But well, here is a simple and easy to follow walkthrough on how to find them all to get you that much closer to 100%. Let's get into it. Before going to Ginger Island, these tools will be required. An axe, a pickaxe, a watering can, a hoe, a slingshot, and a fishing rod. A scythe isn't required, but you can bring that along if you'd like. I would also recommend bringing along a storage chest just in case you want to put down items while you're on Ginger Island. Also, a lot of exploration is required in the Ginger Island Volcano Dungeon, so be sure to be prepared just like you're going through Skull Cavern by bringing along food and bombs. If you'd like a breakdown on what items I bring along to Skull Cavern, why not check this video on 10 mistakes that I see people make when trying to do Skull Cavern. Also, just a little note here, the map of Ginger Island has four sections to it, and when referring to each of these spots, I'll refer to them as North, South, East, and West. This should help you navigate through the walkthrough a little bit more. So let's start from the beginning. Head to the east entry of the island. You should be able to find one walnut whilst walking through the forest. Head straight up the stairs into Leo's hut and use your axe on this tree. This will give you another walnut. Head back out and fix your way to the east here. There should be a golden walnut here. This puzzle will also give you some golden walnuts. To complete this puzzle, head to the island on a raining day. You will find a gem bird on either side of the island. Walking towards them will cause it to fly and drop a gem. Whichever side of the island this gem is dropped will correspond to the altar placement here. So a north side gem drop should be placed on the north altar. Don't worry if you've forgotten the position, they will continue to be found even after collecting their gems. Every playthrough will have a different gem dropped, but it is guaranteed that they'll drop an amethyst, an aquamarine, an emerald, a ruby, and or a topaz. This puzzle will drop five gems. There is only one puzzle on the east side, and that is this altar to the left of the staircase to Leo's hut. A banana will need to be placed here, and you will be rewarded with three golden walnuts. A total of 11 golden walnuts should be found on this section of the island. Additionally, whilst here, use your sword or your scythe on these grass pieces around, a frog fossil should drop. Keep this with you and if not, come back here on another day for the grass to replenish. Heading back outside the east section of this map, you should now have access to the north side of the island. The island will use a lot of visual clues to find the walnut. For example, to the left here at the circle is a walnut. Head past this tree to find another walnut on this tree. Behind this tree by the entrance is four pieces of grass around an empty spot. Use your hoe here to reveal a golden walnut. Head straight down behind this big tree to reveal a walnut on the south side of the island. Head to the right to find another circle here and use your hoe here. Head north to find this random piece of sand that stands out and use your hoe here. Before entering the volcano, head to the right. There is a hidden walnut behind this tree. This weird placement of rocks by the right side of the volcano will also reveal you're a walnut. Still got that slingshot handy? Next to the volcano is a hanging walnut that needs to be shot with your slingshot. Using any ammo is fine. Then to the left side of the volcano, there is this random circle that will reveal a walnut when you use your hoe. Then there's a hidden passage between these trees. Head all the way to the left, all the way down, and then fix your way to the right to collect this walnut. Enter the volcano and hold onto your watering can. Instead of heading north into the volcano, head to the left. You should reveal an entrance to the far left. Two walnuts can be found here. The volcano itself has room for 17 walnuts to be found, and this is by random. This includes opening chests, killing monsters, and breaking rocks. I tend to bring a bunch of bombs to place by the rocks. Not only will it increase your chance of dropping walnuts, but it'll also increase your chance to drop journal scraps, which will be needed to find more golden walnuts. If you make it to the 10th level of the volcano, you'll meet with some lava and a forge. In this room, there are two walnuts that can be found on trees. Then let's head to the south side of the island. You can find artifact spots. Here you may find a golden coconut, which can be broken by Clint to reveal another golden walnut. Only one can be found this way. You should have enough golden walnuts to now unlock the west side of the island with 10 golden walnuts. Head straight north through these trees. There should be a random diamond placement of flowers. Use your hoe in the middle of them. To the right, you should see some plants showing a path through the trees. Follow this path the best you can to reveal a golden walnut on this tree. Head back out and around these trees along the edge to pick up this walnut here. Go across the bridge and there should be another walnut on this tree here. Head straight up to reveal a hidden cave. A light puzzle will need to be completed to reveal more walnuts. Follow the pattern that is shown, which may take some time, and reveal another three walnuts. Just behind this maple tree is another random placement of grass that has a hidden walnut. Then, kill all the slimes! Killing the last one will reveal you a golden walnut. 
Behind this other maple tree is a walnut in the tree. Head to the cliff here to make your way to this walnut here. To the far left here is a walnut in a tree. And along the shore to the north is another hidden walnut. Talking to this character named Birdie, she'll give you a quest to complete. We'll keep this handy as we find more walnuts. Head straight to the southwest of this shore. Here is a diamond placement with a hidden walnut. Then there's an X that marks the spot. Use your hoe here. Break this boulder here to reveal a diamond pattern of a starfish and another golden walnut. This cucumber be thirsty. Using your watering can from afar will knock him out for another walnut. Behind this tree by the pond is a walnut in a tree. This sunken ship has an entrance to the left. Enter it to find yourself another walnut. These stones will have muscles that will respawn daily. You can find five golden walnuts by breaking these, so be sure to check them daily or as often as possible. There is a hidden walnut by this rubble in this spot here. This might be a tricky one to find. Whilst you're here, if you found any taro seeds from the volcano dungeon, definitely plant them next to any body of river. I would also suggest getting your hand on a melon seed, a wee seed, and a garlic seed. When the sleeping hut is unlocked here on the west side, a cave will open to the right. I will come back to the reward of this later on. This can be bought in summer, summer or fall, and spring, respectively, or you can buy them from the night market in winter. Garlic can be bought on the 15th of winter, and melon and wheat on the 16th of winter. Garlic seeds can only be bought at the night market in your second year. Then we'll head back to the north side of the island. There is this bridge here that can be unlocked with 10 walnuts, which I would recommend opening up this area. Use a bomb or an explosive ammo from a slingshot to reveal fancy Mr. Professor Snail. He'll unlock the tent to the right side. When the cutscene is complete, head up north to this spot here of random stones. Use your hoe here for a walnut. Head across the left bridge for another walnut, and then head to the right through this stone to cross the bridge and reveal you another two walnuts. Remember that frog fossil from the east side of the island? Head into the island field office and hand it into Professor Snail for a golden walnut. Next, which is pretty simple, is to complete the island survey on the wall. There are two reports needed to complete here. The first answer is 22 and the second is 18. This will reveal you another two walnuts. I would then recommend opening up the resort on the south side for 20 walnuts to unlock this area and a secret location. Head to the right side to fish in this pond. This will reveal you one golden walnut. This is a diamond pattern to the top, so use your hoe here. Head inside this cave to head to the bottom right side and use your hoe in this corner for another walnut. Getting back to Pelican Town is a good idea to complete Birdie's quest. You'll need to give the War Memento to Kent, give the Gourmet Tomato Salt to Gus, give the Saji Valley Rose to Sandy, Give the advanced TV remote to George. Give the Arctic Shard to the wizard. Give the Ringling Worm to Willie. Then give the Pirate's Locket to Birdie to reveal five golden walnuts. Back on the island, you can reveal five walnuts from fishing at any random spot. Another five walnuts can be revealed when farming on the island. Any crop can be picked to reveal the walnuts, so keep that in mind. Sometime in the future, hopefully your melon, wheat, and garlic have grown. Head into this cave to meet this amazing frogger. He'll want all three crops grown to reward your walnuts. Five for each crop, so that's a total of 50 walnuts. On an even number day and a non-raining day, after 8 p.m., head back into the cave on the south side of the island. You should be greeted by some pirates. The gray-haired pirate named Dartman will ask you to complete this game for a reward. Get exactly 301 points with the darts. Supply it at three different times. Yes, three times in case you forgot like I did to get a total of three walnuts. Also, if it's raining on the island and you head to the pond before the pirate cove, you should find a mermaid atop of a rock. She'll want to hear a song, which means you'll need five flute blocks, which can be crafted after getting six hearts with Robin. These rocks on the ground correspond to the tone that the flute should play. Placing the flute block down will play a pitch, so click the flute to change its tone. Small stones are one change of the pitch, and the larger stones are five changes to the pitch. So the block should play 2, 11, 9, 5, and 7. If correct, the mermaid will hand you 5 walnuts. By now, you should have a list of journal scraps. Check out this video if you'd like to know what each of these notes reveal. Journal scrap 4 reveals a spot on the west side of the island. Once this note reveals this area, use your hoe here to reveal you a golden walnut. Journal scrap 6 reveals you a hidden area on the west side of the island, southeast of the sleeping hut. Use your hoe here for a walnut. Journal Squap 10 reveals this area in front of the volcano. Use your hoe here for another golden walnut. Back to the island field office, here is a snippet from the Stardew Valley wiki of the areas of finding the fossils. Once completing a set, Professor Snail will thank you. Talk to him again to collect your walnuts. You'll need to be sure to talk to Professor Snail to collect your walnut reward. 
We've already collected the frog fossil before, so 10 more walnuts can be collected here. Feel like you've done all this and still missing some golden walnuts? Why not talk to the parrot at Leo's hut daily? Every day he'll give you one new clue. Use this as reference to find out what you're missing. And it is all 130 golden walnuts. I hope you're that much closer to collecting them all. As always, you can catch me live on twitch.tv forward slash Rosarino. I hope to see you next time, guys, and do take care of yourselves. See you next time.